An ancient wine factory the size of a football field has been uncovered in Israel. It's a glimpse into how the drink was made some 1,500 years ago. The stone structures are well preserved, from the platform where grapes were piled up to the grape stomping floor and collection basins. John Seligman is one of the excavation directors, and he says the sheer scale of the factory is astounding. The big deal is the size of this complex and also the fact that it's all clustered together to create one sort of whole unit. That, that's never been found in this, this kind of quantity or this kind of, uh, of clusteredness, if, you it, if that's a word. So the fact that we have all of this together in one place is what is the, is the new aspect of this excavation. The country's antiquities authority has estimated over 500,000 gallons of wine were produced per year in these five presses. It was a common drink in ancient times, served to both children and adults, and was often a substitute for water, which was not always safe to drink. Hagit Torga from Israel's antiquities authority said it probably tasted sweet. The taste of Europeans at that period was a sweet wine, because a lot of times what uh, in order to um, uh, prevent from getting sick from the water, you pour wine into the water, and then even babies and small children drink water with wine. And uh, the, the sweet taste of the wine um, sweetens the, the water, and it was a real hit uh, during uh, the Byzantine period. Dozens of wine jugs were also found. They were known as Gaza jars after the nearby port where they were exported and could hold nearly seven gallons. The jars have been found across Europe, evidence that the wine was in high demand.